Dozens of Elmira residents came out to the city council meeting tonight and they had concerns over a proposal to build a new senior citizen assisted living complex. WNY's Lindsay Madison spoke with an upset resident and the city mayor to find out why. Lindsay. Nick, I spoke with Mayor Man Dan Mandel, who says he's against it. Now, the proposal at hand involves another complex being built no near Maple Ave. This new one would be built on McNaught Field, as seen right here. Neighbors say it's wrong, and it would ultimately hurt the surrounding neighborhood. Listen, when you got one or two people complaining about a project, and the rest of the people saying, you know, I don't mind it, that's one thing. When you have the entire neighborhood, and I mean the entire neighborhood, 40, 50 people, the countless emails I've received against this, I have to support the constituents and the taxpayers over there, the residents over there. At tonight's Elmira City Council meeting, residents voiced their concerns over the proposed assisted living facility, which is planning to be built on McNaught Field on the city's south side near Maple Avenue. Right now, a similar complex is already in place, Maple Avenue Apartments. The company behind Maple Avenue Apartments is also behind the proposed complex. CDS Housing said the proposed complex would bring much needed resources to the area. Uh, we're a mission-based organization and there are some core groups that we try to serve. Uh, homeless individuals, individuals uh, in need of affordable housing are obviously a core group, but veterans as well. Elmira Mayor Dan Mandel says CDS Housing made the proposal to build the new facility on McNaught Field a couple of months ago. Mandel says when CDS first met with him and the city manager, he says he told CDS to reach out and speak to the people living near the proposed facility. Mandel said that didn't happen. And so the next thing you know, I'm getting emails and calls because they're out there uh, doing surveys. That, you know, they're getting ready to start building. So these neighbors got, you know, their dander up, so to speak. They were concerned, and uh, they started doing their own homework to find out what was going on. Residents who are against the proposal say they're unhappy for many reasons. They point to issues they say happened when Maple Avenue apartments were built, the complex that's already there. In Woodbrook, we have our friends, our neighbors, our family members that are running that place, running the board. In this case, we have Rochester. We put thousands of dollars into our basement when we purchased it. It shifted. We know we have a high water table for Miller Pond. We put the money in and we invested. This went in, we have the water in our basement. This is about... Um, taking a residential A single family home neighborhood and and plunking a commercial property in the middle of it. Currently, CDS Housing is looking for site plan approval from the city and will go back to the city planning board next month.